So first off, we're going to talk about the Earth's crust. The whole Earth is made up of rocks and minerals. Inside the Earth, there is a liquid core of molten rock, and on the outside, there's a hard crust. The crust is made up of rock and minerals. Much of the crust is covered by water, sand, soil, and ice. If you dig deep enough, you'll always hit rock. Below those loose layers of sand and soil and crumbled rock, down on the Earth is bedrock which is a solid rock. The crust is made up of less than 1% of the Earth's mass. There are eight elements that make up 98% of the Earth's crust. They are oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, potassium, sodium, and, well, magnesium. The contents are about 35 kilometers thick, and the ocean floors are about seven lm thick. The mantle is a solid casing of the Earth, and it's about 2,900 kilometers thick. It makes up for about 70% of the Earth's mass. It is uh, made up of silicon, oxygen, aluminum, and iron. The core is mainly made up of iron and nickel. It makes up for about, well, 30% of the Earth's mass. The outer core is 2,200 kilometers thick and is liquid, and the inner core is about 1,270 kilometers thick. Now, rocks. All rocks are made up of minerals. The rocks you see around you in mountains, canyons, and riverbeds are all made up of minerals. A rock is made up of either two or more minerals. Think of a cake. You take all the ingredients, bake it up, and stir it up, and you come out with a baked cake. Well, that's the same thing. Mix all these minerals all together, bake them all up, and you get your rock, which is made up of, well, two or more ingredients. Now, well, minerals, a mineral is composed of the same substance throughout. If you were to cut a mineral sample in half, it would look the same throughout. Now, there are over 4,000 different minerals in the world. Minerals are made up of chemicals, either a single chemical or a, combined, a com combination of chemical elements. There are over 100 known chemical elements. Minerals are sorted into, well, usually eight groups. Yeah, native elements, uh, sulfurs, oxygen, her, um, oxygen, um, sulfurs, chromes, um, silicates, phosphates, and so on and so forth. I mean, you have native elements, which is copper, silver, gold, nickel, iron, graphite, and diamond, sulfates, which is um, Pyrite is, an, is an example of that as well. You have your oxidites, which is hematite and so, so on and so forth. You have your silicate, which is quartz and topaz and jade and talc and so on. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.